Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this uh, old video you're gonna find a two brief uh, readings which are career and relationship to your representative star sign that refers to the week 13th to 18th of July 2020 and uh, as usual if you do want a personal reading you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such and another thing is that I have um, made the tarot class the tarot class a flash sale but I never announced it to you so you who are following me on YouTube you never knew about that it's 30% off and in order to get to this uh, to this sale uh, you have to message me on my uh, Facebook page and I'm gonna sort you out from there so uh, with uh, that being said, the sale is uh, on for one more week. And with that being said, laid back and enjoy the show. All right, so uh, we do have Aries uh, readings now and let me shuffle the cards and we're gonna see what Aries are to uh, have to face throughout the upcoming week. First thing that we're gonna look at is Aries's, uh, Aries' career. Let's uh, cut and see what we got. So the first one, uh, well, that is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the Tower card. Oh, that's promising. Okay, it may not look like it, but it is. Uh, followed by uh, the Two of Cups. And the last one for you, Aries, that is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. I mean, look at that, guys. And uh, so, uh, well, uh, the whole thing that these uh, four cards are speaking of, it is that you will be able to suddenly, you know, avoid a pretty big disaster coming in, uh, like a crisis. I mean, I, in fact, you could be the guy that prevents all that and you can take all the uh, the, the uploads for it. Kind of like you, you may be accolited for it, if you will. So the thing here is that this week it will be more passive than active for you that is uh, for the reason being is that because you are going to understand what kind of consequences are irrational and not well thoughtfully made actions are going to have and instead of rushing through with your deeds and rushing through with, uh, with you know the enterprises that you would want to develop you are going to be rather more cautious and extremely careful with what you do and how you do it as well now also it's um, it, it will be very common for you areas to uh, take a break okay throughout the week uh, especially if you're working over, over a really really big project or a lot is riding on the train that you are at right now um, you would want to be a hundred percent certain that your actions are actually justified and that they are going to bear results and that is exactly what avoids the tragedy here or uh, not the tragedy but yeah the disaster that may happen uh, with the tower card sitting on the second position. So pretty much uh, the tower card on the second position confirms a couple of, thing, of things, you know, that things could suddenly be destroyed, obviously, you know, but that is only if you do not fulfill the uh, the expectations of the first and the third card. And uh, uh, I pretty much touched on the first card. It is where you have to be rather meticulous and very, very calculative in terms of what you're going to do and how you're going to do it as well into your career. But also the tower on the second position confirms one more thing, you know, that what you are doing is righteously right. If we may say it that way, okay? I mean, you don't have to change it in any way in any way possible. Or rather, like any transformation that you try to incorporate into your deeds, regarding the plan that you have that you have had or that you ha that have been established is going to be a wrong transformation is going to bring you more harm than a uh, than a good now oh, as well on the plus side throughout the week uh, as we do have the two of cups into the second into the third position I'm sorry into this spread it does mean that uh, the very least that you are going to face from the people you're working with is lack of interest. And I mean the very least. So that means that nobody is going to interfere with your work and as well is going to pose any problems in there. But on the top of the chain, uh, you're going to have support and a helping hand. But that is only if you do 
requested. That is the thing with the Two of Cups. It, uh, it is where the pride uh, and the shyness needs to be placed on the shelf. Okay, So if you are experiencing setbacks, if you are experiencing difficulties, cry out for help and help is going to be given to you. And now because you showed this... Um, exceptional or rather like acute business sense here, being able to avoid a disaster throughout the week, a, a leap of development will be uncovered to you with the nine of pentacles. You may be assigned to the big deal. You may be assigned to the big project. You may be talked over for a promotion. You know, you may be also talked over for a lead of a department. Something big is going to start cooking for you because you are able to avoid that disaster in there okay but again you have to be very cautious very careful no rushing things through uh, rushing things through as a matter of fact it is the way how you pretty much are going to lay yourself into the uh, into the mouth of the beast there so those who are looking for a uh, for a, a job uh, it's highly likely that they're gonna, that oh my god that they're gonna have an opportunity and that opportunity is gonna come from a, a person that they do know probably they're gonna get recommended or it's pretty much there will be an open uh, an open place into the company of that that person works at and they may tell you you know hey well, why don't you try to apply for it I mean nothing is that you lose and you may be surprised that you are to be accepted into it. Uh, just uh, let me gain control of my camera and we're going to move to the uh, law of tarot reading. So let me shuffle. Uh, so the first one here is going to be the Nine of Wands, uh, followed by uh, the Four of Swords. Moving next, we do have Page of Pentacles. <laughs> and the last one is the Sun. Right, uh, so uh, mainly the, the, uh, this reading refers to those who are single. And it's a clear sign that you do have a friend who takes you for more than just a friend, okay? It's, just, it's pretty much the, it's, uh, a person that is into you. But they are afraid to speak up about it, so pretty much they play a, a role right now, rather like they are doing a very good job masking it, okay, that they are into you emotionally. Uh, I don't know if they are going to open up uh, throughout this week. That, is, that will be very, very circumstantial. They are, going to, they are only going to open up if you also display interest. Uh, which I don't know. I mean, if you if you don't have interest by now, I mean, how would you develop that just by, um, what can I say, listening to this reading, right? Uh, it's it's just it's something that needs to come from within. Now there is another way how you can provoke they standing out, and that is by making them happy. So uh, that being said, try to have a, as good time as possible as everybody around you as possible as well, and that will pretty much boost that person's confidence to start divulging what they truly ex expect or rather like want. I don't know how to say it, but yes, you do know the guy, you do know the woman and uh, they have been pretty, um, pretty devoted to you in fact. And that is another way how you can uh, spot the person out, uh, probably by uh, proposing something, seeing that they do not question your word whatsoever. Why? Because whatever you do, it's just worth it, okay? Whatever you do, they, they kind of like, they see in you godly heart, uh, if, if I may express myself that way. Uh, but, but because we do have the Four of Swords into the second position of the reading, it pretty much speaks that they are never going to step up unless, you know, they know for sure that they are not going to be repulsed. And obviously, if you, do, if you don't show any interest, they will have a second doubt or they will have the benefit of the doubt there and that is just enough so they don't make a move okay uh, nonetheless 
here uh, the week calls you to bind uh, because that is with the nine of wands in term of love you need to bind with people in a sense of that uh, you need to aim to uh, date flirt okay uh, and in generally uh, that is if you are single and in generally if uh, to, to to go out and make an attempt to display yourself ready for making a relationship it's a bit difficult right because if you don't have interest again i don't know how you're going to do it but it's just what the tarot card says let me muffle the voice of my computer so it's just what the tarot card says and you know it's it's entirely up to you to um to develop it so uh ultimately if you do make by some mighty efforts that person to open up and to display their interest uh they will devote to your happiness man i mean it's just uh, the, your happiness is going to be their happiness and hopefully your happiness is going to be uh, their happiness is going to be your happiness because the only way that that thing is um that that thing is going to persist moving forward into the future is that you do devote your lives to each other and i mean your life is his life his life is uh, is your life okay so that that's by a long shot but nonetheless it does shows a promising a promising development if you are capable to how can i say to make the rabbits go out of their dwellings probably should be something that i need to compare it to right so um uh, that being said, Aries, this was your a weekly tarot reading. Oh, those who are in relationship, I forgot to mention. Well, those who are in a relationship in that particular case, well, they are to um, kind of like speed things up. I uh, pretty much they will, they are gonna have enough of that the relationship has the same state over and over again, and um, both partners, not just only you, but the partner that you are with as well, will try to do some rearrangements you know some changes into schedule if you will that on the first page or on the, uh, you know for a starter is going to kind of like re reevaluate the happiness and the and the enthusiasm that you do both have and it's very important that you start riding the tide okay so it's kind of like grab it as a momentum and move forward with it in the future so yeah that being said this was your a uh, weekly tarot readings hopefully you do enjoy them and you like them and uh, with that being said uh we are going to see each other next time until then bye